All right, so today I wanted to talk about Ken Carson, and the reason why I wanted to talk about Ken Carson is because recently Ken Carson has been doing the impossible, or what nobody ever thought he would do. And by that I mean just becoming a, pretty much a mainstream household, not a household name, but for younger fans of rap, a household name in rap. You know, he just headlined, not headlines, sorry, I don't know why I'm gassing him up like this. He just played Coachella. His first week album sales for A Great Chaos were 49,000, which is absurd. That's like, that's really, really, really good. You know, there's some pretty, that's like yeet sales numbers, you know. That's what a lot of like pretty big rappers do. That's what a lot of pop stars do. Now keep in mind, Ken Carson had like no features on the album. A Destroy Lonely feature, like that's not gonna push your sales up. So Ken Carson has become one of the, he's definitely secured his spot in this whole rap, new gen rap space as one of the people on the top, correct? However, he's only been doing this for six months and pretty much all of Ken Carson fans overlap with Playboy Cardi fans. So there's like this huge umbrella, correct? And what I was thinking about and what my friend was telling me the other day is he was like, yo, so do you think when Cardi comes back, Ken Carson is gonna be as popular? And I was like, you know what? That's actually kind of an interesting question and I'll explain what I think or whether or not he'll like fall off or have his growth stunted when Cardi comes. Number one, when Cardi drops, there's no way he's allowing Ken Carson to drop. Unless it goes like this, I think maybe Cardi will drop music or whatever, and then Ken Carson will drop like two weeks after, and then Lone will drop, and then Homicide Game. Maybe they'll have like a whole opium drop, and they'll all go on tour. That would be really fire. Maybe there will be some features, but I'm not sure if he'll have as much hype, because I feel like a lot of Ken Carson's hype comes from like Cardi fans who are just like, all right, I guess this guy is never dropping. We might as well just be invested in Ken Carson. Do you get what I'm saying? So I feel like after Cardi drops, there's definitely gonna be a huge like lull for the rest of Opium. Do you get what I'm saying? Cause like when Ken Carson first was coming up, it was like 2020. It was right before Whole Lot of Red. You know what I mean? He dropped Yale August of 2020, I believe, or September. I'm not sure. And Whole Lot of Red dropped December 2020. Then he started coming up 2021. He really got big 2022, 2023. Correct. Cardi has not dropped between the entire time. Ken Carson has had the entire like opium spotlight to himself and he's been able to just grow, develop, gain fans, get like this cult like audience or not audience fan base and just flourish. You get what I'm saying? But when Cardi comes back, number one, he's 100% just like people are not going to like care about Ken Carson. We get that. It's not like a diss or anything, but what's going to happen to his career, right? I feel like number one, Ken Carson has done a really good job of creating his own sound. You know, when he first started, it was just like I'm not gonna lie, I like Starboy and Out of Town, but they were just like knockoff pure beats. His delivery was nothing crazy. Yale was catchy. He had some cool songs, but nothing like, oh, this guy's crazy. You listen to Great Chaos and the growth is insane. Like He is so hard and it's not really anything you'd hear Cardi on. So I don't think it's like a sound issue. I think it's purely going to be like a just the fans being interested type of thing. Because number one, I don't know how much more his music is going to change. It might change, like, you know, it has changed a lot. You can never predict those types of things, but also I feel like fans are not gonna... Fans just like... Ken Carson's whole thing right now is he's like the new cool artist. So what I'm saying is he's gonna kind of get grandfathered in to like the whole... You know the position Uzi was in before Eternal Take or even like Cardi at like Die Lit? Or maybe before Love, Love is Rage 2? That's where like Ken Carson's about to be. So now he's really got to stand on his own two feet and I feel like it's going to be the true test of whether or not he can actually make it as an artist, not only by himself, but just can he actually make it in the long run, you know what I mean? And I'm sure a lot of you guys are going to be like, yeah, yeah, of course, bro, but if you really think about it, what does that take? That takes your own unique sound, that takes having your own unique image, that takes having your own fan base, and I think he's got the sound and image part down. Image part, you know, it's debatable, it's a lot of it comes from Cardi and whatnot. But I think people being interested and the fans like really riding for Ken Carson is going to be hard because there's just so much overlap, you know what I mean? But at the same time, a lot of his fans are super young, so I can't even tell. It's kind of like a who knows type of situation. So my friend told me that he could see Ken Carson becoming bigger than Play With Carney. I was like, bro, I was about to say, like, I was like, dude, there's no way you just said that, but you know, of course I didn't do that. And he was like, dude, you don't understand. Ken Carson, he's creating his own whole new sound, dude. Like this and that and that. He already has clones. Osama Sun, he's like one of those dudes. It's like, bro, dude, Osama Sun is not a clone of Ken Carson. But I feel like if Ken Carson really wants to really, really, really do well and like 
actually stand for a while he's gonna have to step out of cardi's shadow which will mean like not being opium you know and being his own artist because i don't really see someone being under a certain artist and getting that type of hype so that's what i was trying to explain to my friend i was like okay dude how is he gonna be underneath playboy cardi she has so many fans have so much of this have such a similar aesthetic even sometimes make similar music and surpass him like that's just not gonna happen cardi's not an old head bro he's like 28 dude like, ken carson is how old is he let me look him up he's like 22 or something i know he's 24 all right so i don't really see that happening i could also see it being like a a young thug gunna situation obviously young thug gunna was bigger than young thug but like i mean like the gate the age gap kind of but i don't really see that happening they don't like gunna and young thug are like bros it's like you know there's that one meme where it's like addicted to sex and then i think gunna or young thug says my love and it's like ah it's a funny meme but it's like they're bros they're like cool like that i don't really think i feel like ken carson destroy lonely are like playboy cardi's little bros where it's like okay do you get what i'm saying so i don't really see the dynamic there working out to the point where it's like okay ken carson he can be on like cardi's level like cardi's ego would never allow for that i feel like so i'd say ken carson's future is definitely very uncertain you know where he'll go where he'll end up can you really predict yeah there's no you can't predict it it's just for sure but i really i don't really see him getting that much bigger though you know what i mean because i feel like there's a there's a peak you can hit being so unique not unique just like at their level of different and the mainstream and there's only space for like so many cardis and uzis like i don't really see the entire space of rap becoming all this you know what i'm saying so like we already saw with Yeet's most recent album, 2093, it only sold 70k units, you know? And Yeet had quite a lot of hype. Of course, there's the TikTok ban and whatnot. But, you know, Yeet is Yeet, and he had his own different sound. He sold 70k. You know, Uzi's pink tape didn't sell too well. That's kind of relevant to this, but I'm just saying, like, you know, Uzi's a giant. This Is Ken Carson going to repeat another 50k sales, 60k sales? Could he do that? maybe i think he could i think he could but i just don't think he's gonna surpass this i think this might be ken carson's peak musically a great chaos is beautiful i'm not gonna lie like they killed it even his most recent single overseas i know I made a video about the cover art being kind of weird i'm not gonna lie i just a little sensitive maybe not sensitive just like i just hate gore bro like there used to be like this kid in my summer camp and he would like play that in front of every, everyone would be like bro what's wrong with you it was just like disgusting i don't know maybe that's like trying nah, nah, i don't think so but um yeah i don't know why i went on a side tangent there but i don't really think so where i'm trying to go with this is i'm trying to think how could ken carson get bigger and, like obviously he could have like a smash hit or he could you know i don't know just you know go viral or something like he could just drop an insane piece of music i just don't see it getting bigger than it is because it's like where are the fans like where where are these fans gonna come from or, like i feel like he's already got all the cardi fans he's already like conquered this niche He's already up, you know, he's doing Coachella, he's doing shows, he's, he has enough to, to sell a tour, he's selling 50k, like, what comes after this? I don't really see anything coming after this other than him maybe maintaining the level and, like, falling off. Do you get what I'm saying? Often rappers who sign to other rappers, they usually don't end up very well. You can look at most of the people that signed to Kanye, maybe in, earlier in his career, a lot of them ended up very well, but a lot of those are, like, self-sufficient rappers. When the label is very centered around an artist and very dependent, Things don't usually end well, and I feel like that might be Ken Carson's kryptonite or where he might fall short. But at the end of the day, I don't know. I feel like a lot of the stuff, he's releasing some of the best music ever, but I'm just saying, so I'm not talking about right now. I'm just saying like one, two years in the future, where will Ken Carson be? Will he be at the top? Yeah, I just don't see that happening. I don't see him I even staying at the same place either. It's really hard to stay in this limbo stage. Like, there are very few rappers you see who just sell, like, 40, 50K every other year or every year. That's, like, not really a thing. You know, you'll get burnt out super fast. So you either have to go up or you have to go down. And the odds of him going up aren't too high. Do you understand? Do you get where I'm coming from here? So I have a feeling the whole thing might not last as long as, you know, we're thinking. The other thing you also have to keep into, um, sorry, you also have to keep in mind is that the way opium came up was super 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 fast they just like blew up all out of nowhere you know like i feel like that happened overnight through tiktok and all that like aesthetic that, oh this parking lot is so destroyed lonely dude or oh my god the yellow party yell party oh my god i'm invited to like yell party oh my god dude you're invited it's like yell party you know you know like all that stuff happened they gained like this whole it became like this whole community and aesthetic it's like oh opium i'm so you're so opium dude you know 
so that whole thing lasting i don't really i don't really know i don't really know so i just told him, i was like bro like i really don't see that happening like dude you don't get it bro ken carson is gonna be he, i like his music too like overseas bro he that song he snapped but at the end of the day the sound isn't too different from what he was dropping before and as i said before he's in the stage where he's not like a superstar he's not like underground he's not even like up and coming and he's not like low-key kind of just doing his thing either he's right in the middle where he's relying a lot on hype a lot on being very trendy and cool and his aesthetic and cardi and there are too many factors that are just like too like wishy-washy for me to be like okay he's gonna go up i'm not saying he's gonna fall off but i'm just saying how is he really gonna maintain this like who have you seen just stay at this level not very many do you know what i'm saying of course it could be worse just look at sofago but those are just my two cents on where I think Ken Carson will be. I don't think he'll fall off, but I just don't think it's looking good. And it's too uncertain to say, like, you know, like he might accidentally, not accidentally, he might just drop a hit and I'll be like, oh, damn, I was not familiar with the game. But, you know, you get the point. Anyways, thanks for watching. Take care and um, see you tomorrow. We're going to keep uploading daily. Uh, uh, thanks, everyone, for commenting, liking, supporting, subscribing. I really appreciate it. Anyways, take care. Bye. Peace.